you'll probably often want to use double cut with a window or door component that you didn't create yourself. There are many models in the 3D warehouse that will cut openings automatically when imported. For example, I'll bring in this Colby window. This component is set to glue and cut, and its axes are in the right position, with red and green along the face of the wall. And when I edit the component and remove all nested groups and components, the ungrouped edges that remain are sufficient to do the cutting. But not all 3D warehouse models are set up in a way that automatically cuts openings. I have this oval window imported from the 3D warehouse. I'll bring it into the model, and it doesn't cut or align. According to the outliner, this window is composed of three nested components. If I select them all and hide them, nothing remains in view, which means that no cutting edges are available for use. So I'll need to add those edges, and I'll also need to set the correct component axes. First, the edges. I'll hide the green outer frame, open the wooden inner frame, and double-click its front face, which selects the face and its edges. I'll shift-click the face to unselect it, and I'll copy the selected edges. There are actually two sets of closed edges here, and the outer loop will be used for cutting. Going back to the main level of the edited component, I'll paste the edges in place. I'll unhide the outer frame and close the component. Now when I hide the nested components, I have my cutting edges. The recommended workflow is to have just one set of cutting edges, so I'll delete the inner edges. Now for the axes. I'll right-click on the window and choose Change Axes. The origin location isn't important, as long as the cutting edges will be in the red-green plane. I can place the origin anywhere along the back of the outer frame, set the red axis to the right, and green straight up so that blue points forward. The last step is to select the component in the Components window and open the Edit tab. The component needs to glue to faces and cut openings. I'll bring in one of these components, and when I glue it to a wall, it cuts through. Double cut is great for doors as well. I have a door in my model, which also doesn't align or cut. First, I'll open the component and add a rectangle for cutting edges along the back of the frame. This adds a face, which I can erase. Then I'll close the component and set the axes. This time I'll start at the lower back corner of the frame, set red to the right, and green pointing up. The last step, editing the component to glue and cut. Now I'll place and cut through. Now say I want to remove the transom from this door. I'll open the component, remove the transoms, move the top of the frame down, and remove extra edges. The wall cut hasn't changed, however, because the component editing didn't include modifying the cutting edges. So I'll edit the component again, and move the top cutting edge down. Because the cut didn't entirely update correctly, I'll select the door and click the Refresh icon to fix it. If I know that the wall thicknesses here won't change, I can edit this component to fit perfectly, then add some trim on the back. I'll insert another perfectly fitting copy. In the next video, I'll demonstrate Double Cut's Explode feature.